Bob Corker. Bob Corker. You know, a real piece of work. <laughs> he had called the president. This is a guy that had, what, $6 million of cash in the, in the bank or thereabouts. Had uh, uh, chairman of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, most prestigious on Capitol Hill, and the one you can raise most money on besides the banking committee. In a state that what President Trump won by after 22 points and some outrageous number. He didn't have an opponent. There's no opponent. And according to him, now President Trump disagrees with this, according to him, President Trump said he'd endorse him. Money, prestige, no opponent, an endorsement of the President of the United States. And he quit. Because he just saw, he had called over and talked about the exit polls, right? What was happening down in Alabama. And he knew the good men and women in Alabama were holding Mitch McConnell accountable down there. And they were going to hold Bob Corker accountable too. Now, now they've said in this, this civil war inside the, the Republican Party that... Um, you know, why are you, going, why are you going after folks? Why are you going after folks like Barrasso and Deb Fisher and, and Heller and all these guys that, that, that vote the right way? You know, as Bob Corker has trashed the commander in chief of our armed forces, while we have young men and women in harm's way, right? Well, he said he's leading them on a path to World War III, that he is not stable, that people have to keep him moderated, that it's an adult. It's a, what, an adult center, and they took the morning shift off by some U.S. senator in a position of that authority for the first time in the history of our republic has mocked and ridiculed a commander-in-chief when we have kids in the field. Have I seen Barrasso come to a stick and condemn that? Have I seen Deb Fisher come to a stick and condemn that? Have I seen Heller come to a stick and condemn that? You have not. And let me give a warning to you. Nobody can run and hide on this one. These folks are coming for you. The day of taking a few nice conservative votes and hiding is over.